And that will leave uh, Beat Baby to come in. And they're just about ready to run. A 1,000 metres dash, oh, racing, racing away, Temple Ash Meads again. from the inside and Invincible Ash. Both a little slow to go. Kanaf and Pabusar came out quickly. In Exile began well and Bear Behind fast away. And when they settle fully into stride, Bear Behind is the leader from In Exile. Factory time just behind them, followed by Pabusar, Medician Man. And deeper on the track is Beat Baby, followed further back by Russian Soul. And then a break to Temple Meads. Stonefield Flyer, Duck Scholar, Lou Ray. Then came Invincible Ash and Kanaf is last of all as they're passing the 300 metres mark where Bear behind and in exile are fighting it out. Medician Man and Russian Soul are coming at them and Duck Scholar is coming right down the centre of the track. The top weight Duck Scholar is stormed up. Medician Man on the far side but Duck Scholar in front drawing to the judge and Duck Scholar wins. Duck Scholar beat Russian Soul and Medician Man. Then Bear behind in exile. Lou Ray, Invincible Ash beat Baby Canaf factory time. Pabu Saar was well back with Stonefield Flyer and Temple Meads came in last of all. A length and a quarter, a neck, three quarters of a length. A length and a quarter, a neck, Three quarters of a length with the distances separating the first four at the end of race number seven tonight. Congratulations to Seth Benzel, the success of Duck Scholar. Now, Seth, there'll be a lot of people back in the UK where this horse used to be trained, shocked that he's managed to win over a thousand meters. Yeah, well, I mean, I understand that. You look at his record and you don't really see it, but you know, from the first time I saw him, my impression was that the horse is built like a sprinter. And uh, you know, looking at our options on World Cup night, I felt like this was the best route to be a part of that. And tonight he proved it. What worked in your favor was a very, very fast gallop and his ability to stay a little bit further really came to the fore at the end. Yeah, well, the one thing about this horse in the past is that he has about a one, like a 200 meter run. And, you know, going a longer distance, I felt like if we backed him up, that would extend a little bit. And I think you saw the result in, you know, the last part of the race. So what would be the, the choice or the options? I'm guessing either a thousand meters on turf for the Alcor sprint or 1200 meters uh, on the all-weather for the Dubai Golden Shaheen? Well, they tried uh, the all-weather last year and it didn't really get along with them, so we'll definitely go to the Alquaz. Best of luck. He looks like he's going to be a big player. Well done. Appreciate it. Thank you.